I think at the minute it's just grateful to have any they can hear anything. Well, it's right or wrong, but we'll get it. Well, but cool. There's your man, uh, Jack Evans, running in field. Gets the ball back and he's running straight through. He's into the Darlow penalty box. Gets a shot. And your man scores his goal. The carpet, the, the door just opened wide by the Darlow defence. He just got a 1-2 going and nobody tracked him and the defence were left sparing. Yeah, Jack Evans showing up threat on that left-hand side. He worked really well and just kind of cut through. And it was a really nice play by Herifin. The ball just was cut through and Evans was just allowed to walk into the box and put it into that bottom left-hand corner. Um, about 10 minutes gone here and it's Jack Evans, the left-back, who's found himself almost in the, the right-winger's position to find up, put that ball in the back of the net going a little bit. It was pretty flat in the, in the stadium, really, until till that goal and now you can just hear the Herifa fans get behind the players it just builds momentum and it makes it a little bit difficult it's really good really well supported club here Herifa, they get good two two and a half thousand most weeks so the crowd plays a big part for the uh, away team Football finds, finds its way to Lidl and Lambert working on the edge of the box a chip shot from Lambert but that's far far wide there just a simple ball forward there I'm not sure what the Hereford defence were doing I wonder if somebody's hammering YouTube on a on a in 4K or something that's taken all the bandwidth. Here we go, ball cleared by Hereford, but Perver gets it back to him. Ooh, industrial clearance from Hereford, but uh, managed to make something of it. And now uh, tackled by Lawler, and he's going to be getting himself a yellow card for it. The fans seem to be wanting it more than the the referee, but he seemed to be pretty much set. Yeah, it's a yellow card, isn't it? Comfortably, he's just he's just caught story. He's, he's gone to clear the ball and uh, it's just gone through him. A yellow card, nothing on that. But Darlow have got to be careful here. Two players now in the books, two influential players for them as well. And uh, Jake Lawler has got to show you his experience and, and be cautious with, particularly with some of the pace of Hereford got him up forward running out. On the hat, Ter Hereford, 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 Hereford left. Then it comes. It's going to flow onto the. Just beyond the penalty spot, comes across. There's a header on it from Herbert. Did that come off Lawler? No, it's off Headley. Dodds got the head to it, and a good save by Tommy Taylor to just put it over the bar. Uh, over the bar, and it's a it's a corner in which Hereford are going to take on this uh, right-footed inswinger. Indeed, here comes Evans, puts it in. It's a decent one at the near post, flicked on, not to a red shirt. So now Hereford keep get the ball back, and then it's Jordan Thompson who plays it all the way back to Dale Eve. bit better oh and him. a mistake by Dale Eve plays the ball to Lambert it just gives it straight to him on the edge of the box Lambert quick as money sets a shot in but uh, fortunately Dale Eve dives to his left and pushes it wide for a corner nearly I tell you what that would have been a huge shift in the game wouldn't it and, and shoot momentum um, impact because Darlick really haven't been in it it was a, a poor goalkeeper mistake he's just rolled it out and, and Lambert just couldn't Lawler they're making the ball move a little bit quicker now in the defence played it Good ball by Suka finds Little. Now it's with Lambert. Lambert to Perver. Perver looks for an option down the right-hand side. Good ball. Dodds takes it on the move. He's into the penalty box. He can't to, to, forgot to take the ball with him. Now it's with Rivers. Rivers gets to the byline. Whips a cross in. Corridor of uncertainty between defenders and keeper. And our defenders running and our strikers running onto it. Good one. It's into that spot. It goes all the way across. And Lawler desperately tries to get a foot to it, but uh, just too much. It was the right idea. Indeed, they're coming down the right hand side again, up against Perva. He's back tracking, back tracking. He's letting him get all the way into the penalty box. It's well played by Holmes. And he plays it back to uh, Pinchard. Pinchard's in the middle. Well played by Lambert. He's stolen it off him. And then Lambert's had a shot. Oh my God. Oh, it's Keith oh, Crossfire. A shot from the halfway line. What a sensational attempt from Jack Lambert. Wh and he's still not clear yet. 
what have we just witnessed? The keeper was just comfortably <laughs> letting that go in and it's crashed against the, the, the crossbar and come back to Darlow. There's just no one following it through because that was, that was some audacious attempt and it almost came off. Absolutely fantastic by Lambert. Darlow still getting the ball moving. It's got a break for Rivers. He plays it up to Lambert, uh, to Hazel. There's a shot and it's a goal for Ben Liddell. From, all, from that audacious, a brilliant play from Lambert. Darlow kept the ball moving. The ball broke to Liddell. He hit, struck it from the edge of the box right in the top corner. What all? Wow, what a goal, what a finish. It was just so casual, that strike from Liddell as well. He's put it into that top right-hand corner. The keeper, what is he doing? The keeper there, it was so casual. Even when that, that longer range attempt, he could have just palmed it over the bar and, and taken the corner and allowed the team to just recover. But Hereford just seemed to switch off. And Darla kept going and they've scored, but they don't deserve it. Whether, when they're playing the 4-3-3, three, three, the, the front two uh, forward wide players do have to backtrack somewhere on the line because those three have, are just being overrun against the 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, it's now it, break here. Again, it's, it's Pinchard, Pinchard coming forward. He's spraying it over to the right-hand side again. He's got the space. He's up against Headley and he's got past him again. He's into the penalty box. He gets the cross, finds, his, finds the number nine. Gets a shot away, but it comes off Lawler. Ball into the box with the left-footed story. Here comes the corner. It's right into the near post. Uh, got, Hereford got a touch, and then it just hit a belle of melee of players. But Darlow got it clear. Now it's broken for Lambert. Lambert's on the halfway line. Can he? No. He's got dispossessed again too easily. Just the chance of the counter-attack there. Felix was there. And again, down this Darlow. Right, uh, left, the cross comes in. It's found the number nine. Well done, Lawler finds it. And there's Headley, just smashes the ball into the centre half and then gets another chance to clear. And it's given the Hereford fans something to shout about. Yeah, they, that kind of attack there, kind of, it, looked, it was one of those cry, cried uh, uh, celebrations and the ball was nowhere near going in. But Headley, does he normally play at left back? He looks very much like a right footed player. So I'm just He's completely right footed. He's, mm. It's an unfortunate situation he has to play. Ball play forward now. Hazel, he's got the ball in front of him. He's into the penalty box. He puts a cross in. Five feet. Fast Jack Lambert, it's a goal from 1 0 down. Darlington have come back to be two to take a lead. Absolutely brilliant play by, by Hazel. Got a channel down that left hand side, got to the byline, got past his centre half, puts it across. Felix had the easy job. Bang. 2 1 Darlo. I think it was Little actually, or was it Lambert? I think Lambert's put the ball in the Lamb back. Of the net. Yeah, Lambert, Lambert's put the ball in the back of the net. But just a, it was a long ball forward, wasn't it? A clearance of the line, and Jacob Hazel was just running through. He, he kept track of the ball, he held the ball really well, and cut inside and, and just put a lovely ball through. And it was a, a, a pass into the back of the net. It's definitely Jethro Hansen's potentially the name of the day, it has to be said. Although I kind of, I must admit, I kind of would like Ricardo Denango to come on. That's a good footballing name, right? Ball played over the top. Hazel, can he hold? He does. He's going to get the ball into the box. He shoots. Ooh, just gets held by the keeper, but he right in the corner. He would have gone in. Dale Eve had to watch what he was doing. I mean, it's not enough power on it when he shakes the imagination. He dropped over his shoulder and he tried to volley it. But he has got a left leg, left foot and a left leg. I must say, Dale Eve looks like the most casual goalkeeper I've ever seen. He just looks really casual about everything he does. Oh, and uh, uh, Hereford coming forward, Jack Holmes again, and he's got himself to the penalty box. He's got past the marker. Pulls it back, but good defending by Darlington. Oh, Finally. But he certainly got that extra bit of pace, and he was the reason, or one of the reasons why Hereford went 1 0 up earlier. So it's a great header won there by Jacob Hazel. He's almost like a different player in the second half. He's really looking for the battle. Looks like his Wi Fi route has been rebooted as well. And here comes Hereford again, and it's going to have to be Dodds watching his money. He's closing down on the man, but the Hereford plaque is in there, and another shot. And is that number nine? Amadi Holloway ball comes back to him but he skies it over the top that was a great chance for Hereford yeah really good break by Story we were just talking about how threatening he is on that left hand side and he just breaks through Dan Dodds is with him and it just gets crossed and he just kind of question for offside the Darlington players do not look happy with the assistant referee there with regards to not flagging uh, Story offside but he should have done a lot better to uh, the chance come to the number nine and but we'll see that in the next few minutes as we're 30 minutes gone now in this second half Last 15 here at Edgar Street. Not one at Edgar Street for how long? Have Mr. Stat out? Do you know that? Oh, I'll have a look. But I think the last game was a, a draw. Uh, but off the top We've of had a head. few draws. I can't remember the last time we won it. We won here in 1996, but I'm not sure we won here since. Maybe we have. Oh, there's a 99 away fans. 1,006. They showed the attendance there. They're still taking the sweet time on what's going on. 
what's actually going on at the moment? I don't know if there's something gone on in the crowd and Jacob Hazel's just flagged it. Uh, I mean, to be fair, there's not that many in that little section, so if anybody has said something untoward, now he's gone to speak to Hazel, are you all right? Yeah, very concerning if it is what we suspect it might be, uh, that it's happened. Oh, he's, he's asked he's him to point him out. who it is in the crowd now. Uh, the captain, Evans, that's going to come over. No, he, sorry, not Evans. Uh, Haynes that's going to come over and take this throw in. There's going to be a long ball into the box. Uh, it's, in, it's decent throw. There's a pushing and shoving. It's bouncing around. People are kicking. But it's got cleared by Darlo. Not far enough, though. Perv has got a head on it. Comes back in again by Haynes to the edge of the box. It's just looping. The ball's not getting under control. It's up to Felix. Felix heads it high in the air backwards. Hits off uh, a strike from the... It hits a deflection of Lawler. Darlow making hard work of this. Suka tried to blast it clear, but just hit a red shirt. Now it's with Haynes again. He puts it across. It's a decent one. Missed by Barnett. Darlow getting away with uh, one here at this moment in time. Doesn't need to be this difficult. And again, the, the clearance isn't far enough. And Darlow not winning that second ball. Haynes with it again. Now it's Mahado. Turns back. One thing I've noticed, Darlo have played the ball into themselves and, and deflected back off themselves about four or five times in this game. They're kind of blocking their own clearances, which is really dangerous. We're now into the sixth minute now. Ball comes in as a decent cross again. Lawler jumps for it. It comes across. The number nine is free. Puts it back across. Cleared by the Darlo. Melee of red players. Now Malada puts it back in the box. Header won by, by Suka. Got a decent one on it. Hazel's competing for it. Gives away a free kick. He stays on the ground, the free kick's taken quickly. There's a man over, but Headley gets ahead to it and it's going to go out for a corner. Look, Jack uh, Holmes. Ja uh, Haynes, I think they said. Haynes, the cat Luke, Haynes. Luke Haynes. Corner comes in, it goes across everybody, it's going to reach our man. And he blows the whistle and the Darlow players jump up and down. Absolute uh, shocker of a game. But somehow we have come away with three points. How on earth did we do that? <laughs> two, two shots, two goals, really, wasn't it, for, for Darlow? Probably not a classic away performance, as anyone would talk about, but at the end of the day, you, you've got to win them workly sometimes, and that's exactly what they've done. They've done really well to absorb the pressure from Hereford, particularly in that last 10, 15 minutes. And as we said, apart from the goal that they conceded, they've not, Tommy Taylor's not had a save to make in the game. No. Um, and, and kind of Hereford have huffed and puffed and puffed, and, and they've just got no end product, and, and the defence has really held out there. He's definitely got. A, we definitely got away with one there, but you can see the Darlow players are embracing. In fact, there's still a bit of discussion going on with the referee over there. Oh, don't mess with the internet, man! 